simplest way to get your climbing rope into the tree is just to grab up a whole bunch of coils in your hand and throw it. This is a good method to use if the branches you're aiming for are fairly close to the ground and there's not very much in the way. It's also a good technique to learn how to use because even if you don't enter the tree from the ground this way, you're likely to encounter the same technique when you attempt to move from branch to branch in the canopy. You might be tempted to make a coil of rope like this around your hand. If you do so, wrapping it around in circles, when you pull it apart, it makes a little helix and kinks in the rope. Not a great idea. A better idea is to gather the rope in little figure eights, like so. You should have enough rope in this coil to make it all the way from the branch back to you. Wrap a bunch of rope around the coils and stuff a bite through the center. Gather up enough slack and aim for the branch. The coil should hold together long enough to go over the branch and then unfold as it comes back to you on the ground. If you'd like to get your climbing rope higher up in the tree than you can do with a coil toss, you're probably going to end up using a throw bag and throw line. A throw bag is a little leather bag full of lead pellets, and a throw line is a small diameter uh, cord made with slick material that runs easily over a tree branch. We prefer to join the throw line to the throw bag with a bowline because it's easy to untie even after it's been pulled tight. If you're throwing for tree limbs close to the ground, you might be able to get away with an underhand toss. If the bag ends up in a tree in a place you don't want it, you're going to be tempted to yank the bag back through the leaves. So this is not a great idea because it's almost certain to damage the canopy and possibly even to damage you if you're hit by the recoil of the bag off of a springy branch. A better strategy to retrieve your throw line is to untie it from the throw bag and pull it gently back through the canopy. Remember, if you untie your throw bag, to put your throw bag in your pocket or a bag. If you toss it on the ground, you're liable to lose it. As you retrieve your throw line, gently stack it in a bucket, bag, or box. Throw line should never be coiled. If you attempt to do so, it will tie itself into irretrievably ferociously complicated knots in a millisecond. Redirecting the throw line over your shoulder makes this process quick and easy. A more robust throwing method is called the cradle toss. Take a loop of your throw line through the metal ring on your throw bag and give yourself enough slack so the throw bag hangs down to about your knees. Take the throw line and loop it over your first finger. And sight over your shoulder at the tree limb that you want to hit. Visualize yourself throwing it over the limb and rejoice when you manage to get the right one. Hey, I got one! This is how happy your student's going to look when they get the throw bag over that limb for the first time. Inevitably, you're going to run into the situation where your throw bag refuses to return to the ground. Don't give up hope. There's a technique to remedy the situation. It's called plucking the line. The idea of plucking the line is to pull the bag just slightly up and let it fall with a whole lot of slack behind it. Take some patience. It takes a lot of practice to get uh, to learn this technique, but it's super valuable and will save you lots of time if you can do it well. This is how happy your student is going to be when they realize they got the bag back to the ground and they don't have to spend another half an hour trying to reposition the rope. To get still higher in their tree or a rope into a tree congested with branches, you might consider getting yourself one of these. It's a big shot. Essentially a slingshot mounted on the top of a pruning pole. It uses the same throw bag and throw line as you do to hand toss. Get your helmet and your eye protection. Gently cradle the bag with the throw line in front of you. Give it a whirl. And don't forget to rejoice when you hit the tree exactly where you want it to. Every once in a while we find ourselves hanging in a tree, wanting to advance our climbing ropes to a higher limb or to transfer climbing lines to an adjacent tree. Tossing a coil of rope while hanging in a tree can be frustrating. Many folks will bring along a throw bag for this purpose. There's a problem, though. How do you get your throw bag back if you can't simply walk or swing over to get it? There are a number of ways to do this, the simplest of which is just to give the bag a sharp tug. In doing so, the bag will probably be set in motion, and you can amplify that motion by tugging again and again at the bottom of the bag's swing. If the bag happens to be swinging in an arc toward you, you can reach out and grab it. 